Welcome to the short video on how to set up your online scheduler so clients and agents can order an inspection from you 24-7 directly from your website. We would recommend that you set up the rest of your system and know how to take an order directly and have your pricing set up before you start to set up your online scheduler. After you've logged into your inspection support network, let's go to settings and office settings. You'll see under inspection and fee settings your fees per square foot, your property age fees or your fees per mile, and your fees section which will be where you put all of your line items or all the services that you offer. This should be set up before you start to set up your online scheduler. So at settings and office settings, we're going to scroll down to the bottom and we're going to click on online scheduler v2 settings. Here you'll see general settings our first tab and I've already checked the boxes that we would recommend that you check but you'll want to check each one of these lines and decide what's best for you and your company. One line I would like to point out is the automatically complete online orders when scheduling is done. This moves the order from incomplete inspections to completed or confirmed inspections. If you want the client or agent to order an inspection on your website and feel like they've ordered an inspection but it remains as incomplete or on hold so none of your emails or texts go out until after you physically look at it and complete the order, that box will be important. But if you want them just to go into the system and have your emails go out, you want that box checked. Down below you'll see the phone numbers. You can decide what is mandatory to be filled out on your website and what isn't. You'll see we recommend the agent's cell phone and the client's cell phone is all that would be required. As we scroll down, the first two boxes we would recommend you probably do not want checked. And the reason we say that is, is both of those boxes are asking the client and the buyer and seller's agent to fill out a full address. This is not the subject address or the address that you're going to inspect. Next you'll see never allow inspectors to be scheduled in zip codes. They are not designated to service. This is if you are having inspectors that only service certain zip code areas in the zip code area of inspection support network. Next you'll see help schedule appointments using driving distances. If you click here you can see the service radius in miles. In other words how big of an area are you willing to service and then down below how far are you or your inspectors going to be willing to drive from their house to the first inspection or their first inspection to the second inspection. Next you'll see that you can take your client information and drag and drop it so that you can decide what order things are in. And you'll also see the no appointments message which means if you do not have an appointment that is available the day that they are looking for, you can have them get a specific message that makes you comfortable. Make sure you save your settings after you do your first tab. Then let's go to services offered. You will probably have a couple of services in here, but let's just start with none and hit create a service. So if you wanted to put in here standard inspection, and then fill in the name that it appears on the scheduler, and then down here is your description. Your description should be short, but it is nice if you have a little bit of a selly one paragraph or less description and I'll show you how that works so I'm gonna go this is a great inspection and then hit add service once you've added your service then you have your inspectors so you're gonna click on add inspector and if I want Dan and Travis to do this kind of inspection or Dan and Travis is able to do this kind of inspection let's pick them and hit close and now you will see that we have the inspectors that are able to do this standard inspection. Now if you're booking an inspection directly on ISN where they call you up and you use our direct scheduler obviously you can book somebody anytime you would like but for the online scheduler from your website you're going to want to be very specific about when they can order an inspection from you and what time you start those inspections. So let's click on Dan's schedule and you can see that we have some time set so if I wanted to add a slot and go from say 12 o'clock 
to 3 o'clock, etc. You can decide what availability that you have that will show on your calendar. Once you've picked out the times that that inspector is available for the website, then simply click close and you'll want to do then the next inspector as well. We'll click on Friday and add a spot for Travis and let's hit close. The next is your agreement. So if you click add an agreement, you can click on the agreement that you choose to have delivered with that specific order. If you have multiple agreements that are already loaded into your inspection support network, then you can choose what agreements go out. Now to the fees, we're going to click add a fee. And since you've already set up your fees in ISN before you started to set up your online scheduler, I'm going to click our inspection fee and hit close. Now the reason that shows zero is because the inspection support network is going to add up the pricing based on your square footage or your drive time or the age of the property, etc. After you put in your information, make sure you hit update. And that's how easy it is to add services. So your next service would be create a service. Now let's put in another service, Radon. And let's hit add service. And the same with the inspectors. You're going to add the inspector. And let's say Travis is the only one that can do Radon. We'll just choose him. And then you would pick your agreement. And then, of course, add your fee. Now you see that there's no fee for Radon in here and that would be under settings and office settings and fees. So let's hit update. The next tab is order form replacement fields or values. You can decide what is mandatory that's filled out or required and what's not. I would recommend while you're setting this up that you don't put anything in here to start with. The next will be questions you can see that the questions are are usually all handled but if you want to add a question you can do that and add a question that might be pertinent to your area or your services next is email notifications you'll notice that you can be notified when a new order is started by email and text so you want to put in your email and your cell phone for whoever you'd like to be notified if an order is started online that way if they don't finish the order Maybe somebody on your team or call center could call them back and offer to answer more questions and maybe save that inspection. You may want to get a text when a order is completed online. Here you have some choices on who gets an email immediately after an online order is taken. Keep in mind that your normal buyer's agent, seller's agent, and client emails are, are already going to go out on your regular system so we would recommend that you possibly only have the client notified when you have an online order. You can also view the template so that you can see what, what it looks like. And then moving down, you probably want to check this box that lets the inspector know that there was an online order or possibly just your office depending on what the size of your team is. Make sure you hit save settings. The next tab is the theme and integration. Here you can see you can choose the look and feel of your calendar on your website. So find the one that fits the look and feel of your website. And then down here you'll see the iframe or the information that you want to give to your webmasters so that the, your online scheduler can be placed on your website. After you've got everything set up and before you send this information to your webmaster to put it on your website, you want to click on preview the scheduler and you want to go through the process to make sure that you're happy with what the ISN or inspection support network system is going to show your clients and agents. I'm going to let you go through that at your leisure. This online order system on your website integrates perfectly and seamlessly with your direct scheduler and the rest of your system. If you have any questions, give us a call at 800-700-8112 or email any questions you might have at help at inspectionsupport.net. Have a great day and I hope you're enjoying your inspection support network.